Shalom. Let the sell praises do unto Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of JMS, of whom I learned this truth. Peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. This is just a quick lesson. Uh, this is just a, a, I'm gonna uh, rebroadcast this. I'm gonna rebroadcast this on, uh, you know, on the YouTube. You know, uh, uh, I'm gonna put it in my, uh, I'm gonna put it in the description box. All right, uh, Apostle Ryan Love. You know, I watched in, I watched this video a couple, uh, couple of weeks ago. You know, he, uh, you know, he brought out a lot of information, a lot of knowledge. All right, and uh, you know, cause he always was going into it. You know. Uh, you know but uh he kind of didn't really bring it out you know but uh, he he's, he's bringing a lot of this information up and uh you know and basically uh you know uh we had to uh you know eat the tree you know of uh good and evil right because uh we're gods right but you know we die like men you know because uh you know eve she was deceived, you know, by the serpent. All right, and uh, you know, and that's how we fell, right? And basically, uh, you know, uh, I'm gonna share this. Uh, I'm gonna share this link in the description. Watch this uh, breakdown. You know, uh, Prosel Ryan Love. He uh, had a amazing, beautiful uh, lesson. You know, so I'm gonna share this description. I'm gonna share the link in the description. Uh, please uh, watch it and be edified. But um, you know, I'm gonna you know build upon uh, you know certain things. You know, uh, right now we're in the time in time of uh, the Chinese New Year. You know, this is a celebration. You know, and basically, uh, you know, they're into the whole. Uh, you know the horoscope you know the tree of life you know a tree of good and evil with the whole uh, horoscopes and you know the uh, astronomy and stuff because you know we were navigators all right um, you know we're especially uh, here right the Moors you know um, the British you know um, you know and uh, let to be a Briton it means uh it means covenant man you know a man of the covenant all right and uh we're the anglo-saxon the angels or the anglo like the anglo-saxon which means in england or anglo which means angel and then saxon all right with isaac right so the angelic sons of isaac right and um I'm just gonna flow in the spirit. Gonna see where the Raka Kadash is gonna lead. All right, so uh, let's go. This is uh, the golden age of the Moor. I'm gonna put it there, Slakia. The golden age of the Moor, Slakia. And we're gonna build. Hopefully, it's not gonna be a long uh, lesson, but we're gonna. Uh, build upon this thing okay the golden age of the moor by Ivan Serdama all right which he's an Israelite and he was a historian and uh, he has you know the information all right so so blessed is the man that readeth. Yeah. It's a very good book, The Golden Age of the Moor by Ivan Sergema. Alright, this is uh, page three fifth page three hundred and fifty one. Alright, page three fifty one. It says uh This is uh referring to Prince Henry the Navigator, right? Of the Knights Templars, right? Or the order of uh the order of christ right which we know uh you know uh, the israel united in christ 
you know these are the same people coming back in their lot you know so everything is uh there's nothing new under the sun said so, said so this knowledge of proof to be a great value not only to prince henry but to other iberian explorers who were to claim a vast land mass of mass for portugal and spain all right so basically with uh basically i'm gonna get it revelation 20 because uh we fell all right but basically um you know the edomites you know that they came back to power you know and basically pope alexander the sixth of rome and the borgia family you know pope means father you're right he was uh you know esau was funding you know the that whole roman that, that whole roman catholicism you know and with the whole renaissance art and our people our people sold out you know and uh you know because uh prior you know there's many wars you know with the cru uh, like the crusaders and uh the muslims you know in that whole uh region you know like fighting for the land and basically uh you know they use muhammad you know he was a roman catholic jesuit you know and jake was in power at that time and basically uh you know like muhammad was funded by a roman catholic church and uh there was a war right because you know we're trying to get back the land but we're doing all kind of wickedness man all right revelation 21 and i saw an angel come down from heaven having the key to the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand all right so you know when uh after you know the pagan roman empire fell you know esau he went to uh he basically fell and uh jacob rose back to power israel rose back to power all right and uh you read about the five good emperors you know septimius severus you know uh 335 AD, uh, you know, Constantine the Great, you know, and basically we set up the whole Roman Catholicism, that Roman Catholic Church, you know, under uh, Isis and, uh, you know, Isis and, uh, you know, like Diana worship, you know, Madonna worship and all that, you know, Tammuz and Horus and all that shit and uh where people were doing all kind of satanic you know types of things and that's why we eventually fell even though we were ruling for a thousand years and he laid hold on the dragon the old and satan and bound him a thousand years and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up so esau was in a pitiful case he had uh he was a he was in a beast like state that he should deceive the nation no more till a thousand years be fulfilled and after that he must be loose a little season and we're at the time we're in uh you know he's on the loose you know he's wreaking havoc you know throughout the world and basically we need the lord yeah to come and to deliver us you know from this man because this man's a ramp he's a madman all right and uh okay this is uh page 351 of the golden age of the more the afro right which are not african right because iberian which means eber or hebrew right we're hebrews right right because we were dwelling in that whole uh you know in that peninsula you know iberian peninsula the the afro iberian moors were responsible for almost all ge all the geography like all the ge so like all the geographical uh lore which the european said primarily the, said the portuguese and the jews use in their global expansion because basically uh you know when uh pope alexander the sixth of rome all right and um you know the borgia family a lot of our people that we came to the like the new world all right we established you know colonies and uh you know you know like santa Domingo, you know in um uh, you know that island of hispaniola all right which would be in haiti you know and um like the, like the, like the dr you know also uh the aztec empire you know a lot of uh our people we, we like we set up shop you know and uh you know you know 
you had um, the Portuguese. So we, we were out there, you know. I come out of that stock, you know, um, on my mom's side, you know, and I come out of, you know, the British side, you know, through, um, you know, from, um, you know, I come out of that stock on my uh, father's side and my mom's side. I come from the Sephardic Jews, right? So, uh, it says, uh, this knowledge was divided into three main categories. It's a, this, it's a the systematical, like geographer and the economic, it's like, and the uh, encyclopedia who incorporated the lore of the ancient with the like discovery of their like 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 says of their contemporaries the astronomers and the the geodists who uh set out the ground for navigation right um cartography all right so we are navigators man and basically uh we either what we, we, we like we turn you know like we show them you know that science that math you know because we are very you know like we're mathematicians all right we had you know uh knowledge of the uh the sea you know and all that you know heavens all right and uh basically our, a lot of our people were going back people were going into the left hand practice man and uh lastly the travelers and it's a collected of travel accounts right so this is a very good book then uh, i'm gonna probably go the um go the codex magica all right see where the spirit's gonna lead it's gonna be a quick uh that's because basically you know like that was that you know that tree of you know good and evil you know and uh you know the aztecs I think was it Zebulon or uh, Ishakar, you know, like they were into the, uh, into that, you know, like that's a part of their blessing, when if I could find it, but suck ya. Codex Magica. Alright, because this is what these people practice, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, witch, a lot of sorcery, you know, witchcraft, you know, see the serpent, alright, so, uh, you know, this is what the serpent, you know, this is what he deceived Eve with, all right? And basically, uh, Yahweh Shai is a serpent on the right-hand side, all right? So this is page 436. But the five-pointed star and the six-pointed star, so the, you know, the five-pointed star is the pentagram, six-pointed is the hexagram, all right? Stars are used by Jewish, like, it's about Jewish magicians, right? Who uh, worked in Kabbalah, uh, it says formulas and rituals, and that's what these people practice, you know, witchcraft, and that's what our people were doing, you know, and uh, if I could show you this, you know, this is what our people were thinking, you know, see our people in, uh, you know, like the Niger coast, right? All right, in uh, West Africa. You know, there's a lot of brothers who uh, who are Nigerian. You know, you have a lot of brothers who's out here in the highways and byways here in uh, America and uh, Canada. Some of them are uh, are there of um, you no, know, like some of them are like are of West African. Uh, you know, um, you know culture and stuff. You know, they come, they came here, and they're out there on highways and byways wondering. You know, they're telling our people who they are. You know, especially the brethren, you know, over there in DC, like the the prophet, like the, the, the you know, like that, you know, like that, like that brother over there in DC. You know, he does uh, a lot of the, the stones. He's very, uh, and I have, I have, I have one of his shirts. I mean, one of his um, his stones, man. You know, I have the blue stone. You know, so I, you know, I got it from, uh, I got it from your WhatsApp, and then, you know. So and then um, you know, I uh, but I got it, man. So uh, I really appreciate that gift, you know. So the Nigeria gel, gel. So the Nigeria, all right. Because basically, uh, you know, the British took over. You know, people were still up in power, but uh, basically it was uh, 
lust for power, right? We fell. See? This is a hexagram, right? Our so-called star David, which is, you know, this was our star, all right? This was our, uh, you know, uh, you know, this is what we, uh, you know, this is what we practice. And we, like we didn't, you know, like we didn't worship it, but, you know, that was our symbol, all right? During the Crusades, you know, th that's always been our symbol. All right, boy, that says, um, but the five-pointed star, and the six pointed star are used by the Jewish magician who work the Kabbalah formula and ritual. And that's what these people practice, you know, a lot of uh, Satanism, you know, and a lot of wickedness, man. It says a huge and powerful monster and the beast, it said the golem would then do like that. It said what do the magicians bidding, right? So that's what they do. They have the angels on the left hand and on the right. You know who's deceiving, all right? You have the angel, like the angels is, is the ones who's running the show. You have Yahweh Shai and Yahweh, all right? Who's the one running the show? So this is ultimately the most size movie and story, all right? And we're gonna be the lead characters, you know, the hopeful elect, all right, and the one third. You know that we're gonna be the lead characters in that in this uh, story, man. All right. Um, let's see where else can I think. You know, so the forbidden fruit. Um, you know, my brothers, watch this. You know, be edified. You know, because uh, you know, like we have to experience good and evil. You know, and. Uh, you know, and we're gonna are approaching the hour of temptation. Hold on. Be not over righteous. All right, because this is you know King Solomon over wicked. You know, because we're all, you know, because we're all just mortal men. All right. So, uh, you know, don't, you know, we're all going to have our ups and downs, our slips and falls, you know. But, you know, the goal is to try and stay on the path. You know, don't swear off to the left, to the right. Just keep going. You know, don't get caught up. All right. Because uh, we're all in this sinful flesh. All right. And, uh. The most is gonna have mercy on his elect and the one third, right? So um you know you gotta keep you know you you gotta put in the work, right? If you're not you don't have you know you don't have content, you know, to uh to sell or give, the most is not gonna be dealing with you. So you wanna be active, you don't wanna be you know stagnant, you wanna stay active, man. Alright. You know, you know how people like to in the in the rat race hustle and bustle you know like this is a time that uh the most high is gonna try us he has his angels out here doing this thing all right so we gotta stay you know shielded and guarded you know so that he protects us man all right uh Sirach 7 and um 15 all things right so this is the righteous king solomon all things have i seen in the days of my vanity there is just a man that perish there is a just man that perisheth in his righteousness and there is a wicked man that prolongeth his life in his wickedness right like you know like who's prolonging his life in his wickedness that's esau man you know who's doing all kinds of things you know on the left hand side because he's the serpent man you know like this is his job be not righteous over much neither be thou thyself over wise right so uh you know it says that you know much uh much knowledge and uh you know like much knowledge come with sorrow you know griefs you know because uh you know it's what goes on you know we're all you know that we have our ups and downs in our, our trials and tribulations so you know, this is a time that the Most High is gonna try. You know, his elect. He's trying the world, and he's trying the elect too. All right, so we gotta stay on that path. 
Why should thou destroy thyself? So this is King Solomon. Be not overmuch wicked, neither be thou foolish. Why shouldest thou die before that time? So with that, um, let the sell praises do unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakakodash, the ones the apostles of Great Millstone. This is the forbidden fruit, you know, by Apostle Ryan Lab, you know. I'm gonna re uh, I'm gonna uh, re uh, repost it and uh, I'm gonna share the link in the description and uh, this is what it's all about knowledge right and edification that's all we're you know we're all you know like that's all we're supposed to do just edify man and uh, to build so with that let us all praise you do unto you how Bahashem Yahushai Bahashem Rakakodash the one to the apostle of Great Millstone peace and bless the whole for members of the show